bony features. As tibia is a long bone, so just like any other long bone, we will divide the tibia into an upper end, a shaft and lower end, the upper end. The upper end includes two condyles, medial condyle and lateral condyle. Both these condyles accommodate the condyle of the femur to form knee joint. Now between these two condyles, there is an intercondylar area. Intercondylar means because it is between the two condyles of tibia. And between both medial and lateral condyle, this is an intercondylar area also known as intercondylar eminence. This intercondylar eminence is flanked by two tubercles, one on the medial, one near the medial uh, condyle which is called as medial intercondylar tubercle and one on the lateral uh, near the lateral condyle which is called as lateral intercondylar tubercle. This entire is the intercondylar eminence. The medial and lateral side of the intercondylar eminence are flanked by these two tubercles, medial and lateral intercondylar tubercles. On the anterior side of the upper end, there is a the tuberous tree which is called as tibial tuberous tree. The anterior lateral aspect of this lateral condyle, there is a the tubercle which is called as Curdi's tubercle or anterolateral tubercle, which provides the attachment to the iliotubal tract. This is the Gurdy's tubercle on the anterolateral aspect of the lateral condyle. The lateral condyle also bears a facet posterior laterally on its inferior aspect for the head of the fibula. This is the facet for the head of the fibula. Here, head of the fibula articulates with the tibia to form tibio superior tibiofibular joint. The shaft of the tibia is triangular in shape. So just like triangle, it has three borders. Anterior borders, which is sharp. A medial border, which is continuous superiorly with the medial condyle. And inferiorly, the medial malleolus. A lateral border, which is continuously superior, continuous superiorly with the lateral condyle. And inferiorly, it descends downward to form this triangular area. This triangular area. Now anterior border is sharp. Anterior border starts here and the upper end extends downward to reach the medial malleolus and it forms the anterior border of medial malleolus. This is border of medial malleolus which is anterior border of medial malleolus is formed by anterior border of shaft. The medial border which is continuous superiorly with the medial condyle of the tibia, it descends downward and when it reaches the inferior end it forms the posterior border of medial malleolus. This is the posterior border of medial malleolus formed by the medial border of shaft of tibia. The lateral border, which is also called as introsious border because it provides the attachment to the introsious membrane, which is a membrane between ligamentous membrane between tibia and fibula. So this is the lateral or introsious border which is continuous superiorly with the lateral condyle and at the lower end and the inferior end the lateral border opens to form a triangular area. Now since the shaft has three borders it has three surfaces. The surface between anterior and medial border is called as medial surface. The surface between anterior and lateral border is called as lateral surface. And the surface between medial and lateral border is called posterior surface. On the shaft, on the posterior surface, there is a distinct feature or there is an oblique line which starts laterally and it descends inframedially towards the medial borders. This line in the, in the upper end is called a solial line because it provides attachment to the soleus muscle. There are five surfaces of the lower end, the anterior surface medial surface, posterior surface, lateral surface and inferior surface. This is the medial surface between anterior border of the medial malleolus and the posterior border of the medial malleolus. This is the medial surface of the inferior end. This triangular area which is formed by the opening, the, the splitting of the lateral border is the lateral surface. And this is the posterior surface which is towards the posterior surface of the shaft. And this is the inferior surface which articulates with the talus to form the 
ankle joint. In the, the lateral surface of the inferior end has a triangular fibular notch which articulates with the inferior end of the fibula to form the inferior tibiofibular joint.